Hey, it's Sean and Rachel, and we are jagging around today because you know about our little series called Bridging the Gap? Well, we invited our friend Scott Tatey from the Beaver County Times to learn more about it, and it turns out he has something of his own. We're at Johnny Angel's Ginchy Stuff, where there are millions... I'm sorry, I had to say it first. <laughs> there are a million <laughs> things going on here, but look who we have behind us here. We're on set of Bridging the Gap. Yeah, we just which is, And it's Byron Nash, a you know, favorite of the podcast. Scott Tatey, who's lined us up with some really good podcasts. So, Scott, tell us a little bit about what are you and Byron sitting yeah, here? Yeah, why do you need Byron when we're on set? Byron behind us. <laughs> Everyone needs Byron. Let's face it. The hardest working man in Pittsburgh oh showbiz. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I've been known each other since the late 90s, yeah. probably covering music, and I'm a big fan of his uh, guitar work. I started a new series called My Favorite Guitar. What we learned is people really love to geek out on guitars and hear what the guitars they've seen and, and love, what their favorite acts is and why and what it means to them. So Byron's going to be our May edition of that. And I just want to hear what his favorite guitar is. And of course, we're going to film some video of him jamming for us because that's, that's going to be special. Right. And are you going to tell us now or do we have to wait? We'll make you wait. Uh, <laughs> who, ha who has been on your episodes? We, we started with, a, I know you're a big fan of Bobby Thompson, the, yeah. the young blues guitarist. Love as well. And he had a good story, just the sentimental value of this guitar he bought. David Granati, of course, the Granati Brothers, Beaver yeah. County Institution, twice toured with Van Halen. His guitar, Eddie Van Halen gave him a part to put in his guitar when it broke. And Eddie uses paraffin wax is what he used to do. That was his secret. We would have from what? Because he's a California surfer guy, right? David has a guitar. It's worth who knows how much money, and it weighs a ton. He let me hold it, and you know my, my shoulders were hurting. I'm holding this thing. <laughs> and then the next one we're doing is Stephanie Wallace. I know you're a fan of hers too, the yeah. '90s right. band Murder for Girls. So yeah. uh, we're trying to mix up. We want to do all genders, all genres, and just kind of highlight all the great guitars in Pittsburgh. How many guitars do you have in your Ooh. stock, in your bodega? Mm. <laughs> uh, more than twenty. I'll say that. Yeah. Is that because you don't know exactly, or because you don't want us to know? Uh, it's I have to do a recount. Oh, gotcha. I, oh, to, I hate when I have to recount have my guitar. You always have to do a recount and make sure you're inventory. <laughs> I haven't done inventory this year. It's yeah. so like being a car collector. You're always thinking of your next one. You're always a uh, book collector. No, I only buy them off of how it feels. I don't oh. just like, oh, i got to get another guitar. It's just like, oh, I play it. I'm like, oh, man, can i, I got to buy this. What is so <laughs> appealing about the guitar? And let's start with you. I mean, it's sort of, I don't know. It's I just, the thing? It's the thing? It's the guy thing? It's the No, I mean, as a little thing? kid, Ace Freely, Kiss. And then like Prince, and then just seeing like cool guitar. It's just I don't know. Thank God he said Prince, because I was like, oh. It has, it has the coolest like stance. I agree. That's what yeah. kind of kicked rock and roll off to me. That when they, once the guitar and the Chuck Berry thing kind of came in, then it just took it to a whole new level. Keith Richards, you know. So I, and, and I, you know, you can play air drums, you can play air sax, but something about oh air guitar, guitar, it just oh feels right, even though you're not feeling anything. I don't know. Yeah. You're feeling can, it in here. Can Wait. you please end it with your awful <laughs> rendition of an air guitar? John is Wait the worst air guitar player I ever. Insist. First of all, tell us. Well, yeah. So my question is, will I be interviewed for your series about my air guitar? <laughs> He's a for a I have thirty uh, of them. He might have twenty. I have thirty air guitars. Air guitars thirty different yeah. air guitars. Do I need like spit fire or anything? Or oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I can do the jump thing too. I've seen pictures of Byron doing the jump. Oh, I can jump. Back. <laughs> Where does everybody see or read and watch the videos? It's once a month on the Beaver County Times, timesonline.com. We're going to uh, feature Byron in May. Uh, he's got a big show coming up. We're so excited. He's playing Beaver Station, uh, the old train station in Beaver. Uh, we have a concert series, and he's going to close it out. And uh, there's already a huge buzz about that. So you'll read about his favorite guitar. Uh, the third week of May, Beaver County Times, timesonline.com. Write in votes. Start writing. Scott Tatey, you want to see John Chamberlain interviewed about his 30 <laughs> air guitars. Please don't do it. Have a good one. Bye, guys.